welcome to today's yoga session. I am Miss Sine with Be Mindful Yoga, and this is the coolest bear in town, and his name is Medi Teddy, but I'm sure you already know that. So thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight we have a very fun class planned for you, and today's theme is Yoga Magic. And Mehdi and I are excited to share with you today. And the reason that I themed this class Yoga Magic, it's because yoga is just that. It is pure magic. We have the ability to pause and use our breath to change our mood. And we have the ability to use our bodies to make beautiful shapes. And it's just a magical thing. So today, Mehdi and I are gonna use our breath and we're gonna use our body and we are going to make some magic for you tonight. So thank you for joining and I hope you have fun. So we're gonna do some pranayama, some breathing. We're gonna go into some poses with a fun storybook that we have. And if we are lucky, the author of this book just might join us tonight because I told her that I would be reading. So hopefully she'll stop by. And then we're gonna do a fun little magical song and then we'll take a nice deep rest. So when I think about magic, there's actually a lot of things in nature that's magic. If you look at this picture behind me, the ocean, the sunset, all of those things are magic. And one of the things that I love, and I'm sure you probably love too, and I think Mehdi loves too, are rainbows. Rainbows are pure magic in the sky. So we're gonna start today's class off with rainbow breathing. Find a comfortable seat. And if you can think in your mind, what are the colors of the rainbow? Hmm. There are seven colors in the rainbow. And we are going to use our hands as paintbrushes tonight to paint the sky rainbow. Are you ready, Maddie? Yeah. Okay. So let's get those paintbrushes ready and we're going to dip them in our imaginary paint. Okay, and the first color of the rainbow is red. So let's dip it in the paint. Inhale, red. Exhale, red. Great job. What's the next color? Hmm, I think the next color is orange. What do you think, Maddie? I think it's orange. Let's dip our hands in the paint. Inhale, orange. Exhale, orange. Oh, wow, Medi, look, our rainbow is really starting to look pretty. Okay, Medi, let's do another color. What color do you think comes next? Hmm. Medi says yellow. All right, let's get those paintbrushes wet. And we're gonna inhale, yellow. Exhale, yellow. Great job. All right, what's the next color? I know you know. Hmm, I think it's green. Do you think it's green, Medi? Medi thinks it's green too. So let's inhale green. Exhale green. Good job. All right, we have three more colors to go. How about blue? All right, Medi, let's do blue. Inhale, blue. Exhale, blue. Great job. Medi, you're doing awesome. All right, so the next color is indigo. Indigo is a different shade of blue, okay? Let's inhale, indigo. Exhale, indigo. Great job. All right, and the last color is violet. Some people like to say purple. 
So we're going to inhale, violet. Exhale, violet. Great job. That is a wonderful breathing technique. It helps you to use your memory and you really have to focus on thinking about what the colors of the rainbow actually are. So it's a little tricky sometimes, but I know you can do it. So just remember, you can always take a mindful break to pause and create some magic with your breath. Okay, up next is story time. And this is where Maddie gets to do some fun yoga poses. All right, Maddie, let me sit you here while we get our book ready. Okay, tonight's book is Let's Make Yoga Magic. And this is a beautiful book by Heather Lay. And the publisher was so nice to send this book to me to share with you all tonight. So I'm really excited. It's really thick. And I think you're going to enjoy the story and the poses. All right, let's make yoga magic. Our bodies are absolutely magical. They can make so many fun and wonderful shapes. When we make yoga shapes with our bodies, we feel strong, stretchy, calm, and full of peace. Every single body can make yoga shapes, and the way our bodies make each shape is unique and magical to us. The most important parts of making yoga shapes are being safe, having fun, and learning to move our bodies. So are you ready? All right, Medi, you ready? Okay, I think Medi is ready. Our first pose tonight is mountain. I plant my feet deep down in the ground, then close my eyes and block out all sound. Being a mountain makes me calm and steady. Whatever comes my way, I know I'll be ready. All right, Medi, let's do our mountain pose. So Medi's going to stand up tall and he's going to put his hands to namaste. And this is his strong and steady mountain. Now, I'd like to show you the mountain in this book. And what makes this book so special is that it has moving pieces. So as she's standing there, you can move and go to the moon, the clouds, and the sun. All right, let's go to our next pose. Our next pose is bridge. I lie down on my back and send my hips up to the sky over rivers and valleys. I let them pass by. My belly stays up to let the water flow under. So strong and so brave, my bridge is a wonder. All right, Maddie, let's see if we can do our bridge pose. Ah, so Maddie's going to lie on his back. He's going to bend those knees and he's going to lift those hips up and he's going to let the water flow through for his beautiful bridge pose. Good job, Medi. All right. Wonderful bridge. And so here you can see all of the water moving through the poses. Great job. All right. Snake, I lie down and touch my belly to the ground, then slither and slide, moving all around. With a strong neck and back, I pretend to be a snake. Though I'm gliding on the floor, I feel wide awake. All right, Medi, let's do our snake pose. So Medi is going to lie down. We also call this Cobra. He's going to lie down on his belly. He's going to place his hands on the mat or the floor. And he's just going to slightly bend his elbows and lift just his chest up 
just the chest for snake or cobra. And here, you can move up and down like a snake. Beautiful. All right, what's next? Huh? Oh, butterfly. We love this one, Medi. I sit right down and close my eyes, imagining my life as a butterfly. Feet together. I move my arms and legs like wings. When I am being a butterfly, my heart sings. All right, Minnie, let's show them our butterfly. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna put our feet together and we're gonna hold on to our feet and then we can just flap those wings. So just imagine me sitting down and you're flapping your legs and your arms for your butterfly pose. Great job, Betty. And here's the beautiful picture. The butterfly wings actually um, are three-dimensional, so they move on the, on the book. Great job. All right, up next is Dancer. I stand on one leg and grab my toes up high. Being a dancer, I am graceful and spry. Sometimes I feel wobbly and over I fall, but I quickly try again, keeping one hand on the wall. So remember when we practice our yoga poses, we always want to be safe. So if you need to use a wall, do so, so that you won't fall over. So let's see if Medi can do it without using a wall. I think I'm gonna help him out. All right, so we're gonna stand tall, all right? And we're gonna lift one leg up and we're gonna put our hand back to grab that leg and we're gonna put our front hand out. Oh, beautiful dancer, Medi, beautiful, great job. And this is a beautiful dancer too. I love this book because there's so much diversity in the characters. And this is the beautiful dancer and she's moving her arm up and down. Up and down. Okay. All right. Ooh, tree pose. One leg is strong like the trunk of a tree. The rest of me reaches up, wild and free. My roots dig deep and my branches bloom tall. I love every creature, no matter how small. All right, Medi, let's show them our tree. Medi's an expert at the tree pose, so we're excited to do this one today. So we're gonna stand up and we're gonna take one of our legs. Sometimes you have better balance on one side, but we're gonna use our right leg today to do our tree pose. And then you can put your hands together in hearts namaste, or you can extend your arms out wide like a tree. Good job, Medi. And this tree, you can see all the beautiful flowers blooming when you move the tree. All right. Up next is the plane. Arms go out wide like a steady airplane. If I am calm, I can fly through the sun or the rain. Being a plane makes my body feel strong. I feel balanced and peaceful all day long. So the plane is also known as warrior three. So we're gonna stand up on one leg, okay? We're gonna extend those arms out back because we wanna fly like the plane. And then we're gonna lift one leg up and we're gonna lean forward to fly, really getting those wings up in the air. Great job. You're doing a great job, I can tell. So this is your plane pose. And this is really cool because look, he's flying. Woo! Wee! Great job. All right, up next, we have pretzel. I sit down, crisscross on the ground, Give myself a hug and twist around. Moving like a pretzel, 
I can feel my very best. It helps me to stay calm and never get stressed. All right, so for our pretzel pose, we're gonna put our feet together. We're gonna cross one hand over to the opposite knee. So in this case, Mehdi is taking his right hand and he's placing it on his knee. He's sitting up tall and then he's gonna put his left hand behind his back. And then you just wanna kind of turn and twist your body. So good job, you see Mehdi? And then you can do that on the other side, taking your left hand to your right knee, putting your right hand behind your back to twist. Great job for your pretzel. And this is really cute because they're going to the pretzel stand to get some yummy, yummy, yummy treats. All right. Okay, just a few more poses. Up next is a boat. I sit in my boat and get ready to row. My hands and feet lift and I am ready to go. I like to pretend that I am floating at sea. Row in my boat keeps me calm and happy. Good. Yeah, all right, Maddie. So we're going to sit here and we're going to do our boat pose. We're going to bend our knees for our boat and we're going to sit back on our sacrum. That's the top part of our back, lower back. And then we're just going to extend our hands out to our knees for boat. See, Mehdi is balancing like a boat and sometimes the sea waters will come through and it makes you a little rocky, but you want to try and stay as steady as you can. And here, he's rocking in the boat. Rock, rock, rock. All right. Warrior Two, I bend one knee with my arms out strong. The other leg is straight and strong. Being a warrior makes my heart feel courageous. I am ready for adventures, both wild and outrageous. All right, Mehdi. So we're gonna bend one knee and then we're gonna keep the other leg long. So bend that front knee for Mehdi. Let's bend the front knee and keep this leg out strong. Then we're gonna kind of turn a little bit and we're gonna keep those arms out straight for our warrior pose. Great job, Mehdi. You see that? Warrior two, warrior two. Good job. And there's no movement on this page, but it's a cute little um, picture. All right, and three more poses left. Dragon. When I am a dragon, I imagine my wings. I am brighter and stronger than anything. One knee is up, the other on the ground. I open my mouth and make a fierce roaring sound. So let's see if Mehdi can do his dragon pose. So you want to put one knee back and one knee in the front, leg in the back with your knee down. And then we're going to lift both of those arms up for our dragon pose. See there? Dragon pose. And here's our dragon. He has wings that are flying with a cute little castle in the background for dragon. It's fun. All right. Last two poses. Down dog. My hands go on the ground. My body goes up. I love to act like a strong little pup. I wag my tail and give a big smile. Hang out upside down can be fun for a while. All right, Maddie's also a pro at downward dog too. So we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna put our head down to the floor, downward dog. And this dog 
is wagging his little tail. Wagga, wagga, wagga. Too cute. All of these pieces are so sturdy. I love it. Okay, and the last one, moment of peace. I sit on the ground and rub my hands together fast. I cover my eyes and let some time pass. I take a big breath, first in and then out. This is what yoga magic is all about. A moment of peace. And there she is with her eyes closed. And look, I think I spot another rainbow. And she's having a peaceful moment. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful book. It's so lovely. Um, definitely one to have for your yoga book collection. All right, now Medi and I are gonna make some more magic with a fun little song. And we're gonna do two poses from the book that we just learned. We're gonna do our tree pose, and we are gonna do warrior two. So this song is Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it's the fun version, the Hawaiian version by Israel. And so let me show you the moves. We're gonna do a little Tai Chi movement at the beginning, and I want you to follow me. We're gonna send peace. We're gonna send all of our energy out, right? And then we're gonna pull all of the energy in. Everybody that's watching tonight, we're gonna pull our energy in and then we're gonna spread that energy, right? Then we're gonna make some beautiful rainbows with our hands. We're gonna make a double rainbow. We're gonna give ourselves some nice hugs tonight. And then we're gonna do our yoga poses. I promise it's a really fun song. The movements are easy. You're definitely going to enjoy it. Let me get my music queued up here. Follow along. Let me make sure my Bluetooth is connected so you can hear well. Okay. Trouble melts 
together at heart center with us and repeat after me may I be safe may I be kind to myself may I be at peace 
May I accept myself as I am. Thank you for joining us tonight. 